Welcome back to Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. They're getting ready to take off down the road in a 1966 Mustang convertible. This one here has the inline six cylinder AC. Pretty little car. White with red interior. I just did a full walk around on this one, point out any kind of flaws on the outside. Now we're gonna take it down the road and see how she drives. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. I post videos like this every day. We also uh, buy cars like this every day and ship them all over the country. So check out maplemotors.com for financing and shipping information. Plus you get to see all of our inventory, all of the detailed pictures to every car in our inventory. It's all on maplemotors.com. And if you hit subscribe on this channel, you get to see all the muscle cars that come through here. All right, guys, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. We're gonna check this interior out before we leave. I went ahead and dropped the top in the walk around video. So if you wanna see the top up, watch the walk around video. This thing's pretty nice. We might have some competition. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna start this one up. Go ahead, place your bets. You think the horn works on this one? Try the wipers out. They work. Don't want to do that too much. It's nice and dry. They look new though, so we're good. Uh, radio. No, I can't get it to cut on. It looks fairly new. Though. It's even got the sticker still on it, unless the guy left it on there for five years. All right, vintage, a sort of vintage AC. It looks like it come out of a Fox body or something. Push a button. Compressor kicks on, loads on the motor, nice cold AC. That's what I'm talking about. You gotta turn that button off, otherwise it'll burn the battery up. I think figured that out pretty quick. So if you purchase this car, definitely remember that. All right, let's try this horn. Horn works. Let me try one time. <laughs> Coming across the gauges, our temp gauge is coming up. The amps are working. 6,121 miles is what it's showing. Can't stand behind that. That's a 66 mile, guys. Come on now. <laughs> Just showing you what works and what don't. Here's our top switch down there, and it flies up and down. It's got to be brand new. All right, let's take off. All right, guys, we're going to take off here. Anything I see in Toronto this car, I will let you know. That's what I do. If I hit the brakes, the steering wheel turns for me. It's locking up over here on the front left. I think it's a drum brake up there. It's probably got a little bit of dust on it or some dirt. What I like to do with them is I kind of ride the gas and the brake at the same time. Warm it up, clean it off. We should be good to go. Let's try it now. It's just barely doing it. Yeah, a little bit more heat to it, probably get it fixed up. The speedometer's coming up. Should be working pretty good. This car actually drifts to the right a little bit. You see it pulling me off the road. But the steering got a little bit of slack too. Not that much. Turn signals. Popping up on both sides. But this one's vague. The bulb's going out on it. Let's see if our kick downs are good. Oh! It's trying to engage. We're gonna take a ride here. It's so quiet. I'm used to the V8 cars. Tell you what, this thing's pretty nice. driving by, driving over the camera, gives you a bit of a sound from it. 
Not like the V8, but still cool. Try the brakes now. Just barely pulling. The more you drive it, the better it'll get. Alright, let's get these shots. Tell you what guys i just missed a scene and that bothers me uh, i thought it was recording it wasn't when i left the last church parking lot i apparently took a picture of the dash so we're going to drive down the road a little bit so i can give you this experience too i'm not going to skimp you on it let's go part is we missed the speed bump see i thought it was recording but now every once in a while this happens not too much they usually pay attention but it's five o'clock i'm ready to go home so i was finishing up my last test drive So far so good though, everything's nice and smooth. When I did hit that bump, it went right over just easy. And the brakes have gotten a lot better. They're not pulling as bad. They're still pulling a little bit when you hit them really hard. They pull a little bit on that front left, but nothing like when it started on the video. We've made it back to the lot. All right, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I post videos every day. Check out maplemotors.com for financing, shipping information, wheels, tires, parts, accessories. We've got everything online. You can see all of our inventory. And we update uh, with about 50 cars a month. And I want to thank y'all for telling your friends. Had a lot of people call say they were recommended from youtube from different people they know so i know y'all are out there spreading it for me showing the love definitely want to thank y'all y'all have a good one i'll see y'all tomorrow